everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm drinking this little ditty. It's an iced uh, espresso from like this morning, so it's watered down. But I felt like I wanted something to drink because we're gonna have a little bit of a chat. Today we're talking about haters. And I did a haters video on this channel about a year and a half ago. I just feel like a lot has changed since I did that last video in me personally. And I feel like I have more things to share with you guys. So I will link that down below. It's kind of like a part one, I guess, of this. I wanted to make this very much my personal experience dealing with hate and how I'm overcoming it. This video was kind of inspired by some comments that I've gotten recently. A lot of you probably saw my last body positivity video a few days ago, about a week ago, and um, there were some comments on there that were not so pleasant. Things like, nobody wants to see you in a bathing suit. You may think you're pretty, but other people don't. You're probably the ugliest, one of the ugliest women I've ever seen, that kind of stuff. And isn't that so crazy how the internet works like that? Where people can just say whatever they want to say whenever they want to say it. It's kind of crazy because I feel like we're taught in kindergarten to treat other people with respect and love and kindness. But I guess somewhere along the way we've lost that. And in today's like social age, that's pretty much gone out the window. People don't have manners anymore. And guys, I really appreciate those of you that stood up for me and commented back and said things back. But I just wanted to let you all know that those opinions are just opinions. And they don't affect me. And maybe a year ago when I made my last haters video, maybe they would have affected me then. I actually remember filming that video and I was kind of making the video more for myself. For when those moments when I felt like complete garbage, I would look back on that video and feel better about myself. But this was the first time in my life where I had some serious like soul searching going on after those comments. I was reading the comments and I didn't have that sinking feeling in my stomach that I've gotten so many other times in the past when I read negative comments. I pretty much felt totally unfazed by the comments, which kind of freaked me out a little bit because I've never been unfazed by things. I take everything to heart and I'm a very sensitive and emotional person. So I was seriously just like, start, I'm like, why am I not upset right now? I shared my heart with you guys in that, in that video and I meant every single word of it, but that wasn't an overnight process at all. And so I kind of wanted to be a little bit vulnerable with you guys today and kind of share more of the background of how I got to where I am today. Eden's singing in the background, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. So I'm not sure if many of you are aware or not, but there is a website that's dedicated solely to talking about YouTubers, beauty gurus, YouTube moms, pretty much anybody that's on YouTube. And I made the mistake of reading what people were saying about me on the internet, on these forums. It was obvious that I was reading the content and it was obvious that they knew I was reading it because I felt the need to justify every single thing they said about me. I felt the need to explain to people my side of the story and try to get people to like me or approve of me. But the truth is when people see you already through that lens, there's nothing that you'll be able to do or say that will make them change their mind. And it's not your job to make people like you. I became very depressed reading that forum. I remember posting a status on my personal Facebook about it saying that I was going to quit YouTube. I mean, I was so close to doing it. And why? because so many people were talking about me or my family or criticizing the way I did things or making fun of me for my Christianity, whatever it was. Um, I just felt such a overwhelming sense of like identity crisis because I didn't really even love myself and I didn't really know who I was. So reading these posts of people thinking they knew who I was made me question myself and who I was if that makes sense. Daily vlog suffered because of it. This was a while ago, this was over, about a year ago. I didn't wanna show any part of my life. I even said to David like, make sure you don't show this part of our house because it's a mess or you know, make sure you don't film Eden with her hair a mess because somebody's gonna say something. And like I started to realize that I was letting these people pretty much define every action I was gonna take from here on out. I gave them that control and that authority. So I reached my lowest of low point and after I posted that on Facebook, a friend of mine reached out to me, somebody I consider a mentor, an older woman in my life, and she told me to write down why I'm doing what I'm doing and what the goal is and what the purpose is so that these opinions wouldn't affect me no matter what happened in life, no matter what storm came my way or anything. So why did I start YouTube? I started YouTube 
to connect with other moms, to make moms feel like they're not alone, to show people the love of Christ, and to hopefully, you know, make friendships along the way. And I get emails all the time, like, thank you for sharing your life, your positivity and your love in Christ inspires me, or um, I just rededicated my life to God. I mean, those kind of emails, you just don't understand how much those mean to me. I mean, I love each and every single one of you that are watching this video right now. I absolutely love you. But when you write personal messages to me and I'm able to get to know you on a more relatable level and I get to know who you are and what makes you tick and what you love, like that to me just fills up my soul. But anyway, I'm kind of going off topic. Even though I was getting all this encouragement from all these people that loved me and loved my family and loved watching our videos, all I could focus on was what these four to five people were saying in this gossip forum. And by the way, guys, if you know the name of the website, please do not link it down below. I will be deleting all the comments that leak this place because I do not support it and I don't want anybody going there. That's not the purpose of this video is to talk about them. I'm just relating it to this one situation. For you, it could be anything in your life. And I want you to think about how this video relates to you. So one day I just decided to stop going to the website. And do you know how hard that is to walk away from a situation where you know people are talking about you and you don't know exactly what they're saying, but you know it's in your best interest to walk away. So I will admit it was really, really challenging at first. I would get these like urges to find out what people were saying about me. But guys, after a few months of not looking at these things, um, changing my environment as a whole, like in my life, um, eliminating people that weren't encouraging or weren't building me up and I felt like were holding me back, just doing that whole process really changed my heart and my way of thinking. I realized the world didn't revolve around me. Um, I realized that haters are a part of life and that any person who is gonna think outside the box or use their creativity or do their passion or do anything that they love is going to face criticism and hate. It is inevitable, it will always happen. I would even go as far to say if you're not experiencing hate in your own life, then I don't think you're following your dreams hard enough because any person who puts themselves out there makes themselves vulnerable or follows their dreams they're going to experience this backlash you have the opportunity to let these people influence who you are and to let these people speak into your life even though they don't even know you they don't care about you and they never will or you can choose to get rid of those people and love yourself regardless I know people are still talking about me but they always will and as long as I'm on YouTube and I'm sharing my life and I'm making videos and I'm sharing my family and I'm sharing my faith, I will be ridiculed and I will be made fun of and I will be talked about and most of it's going to be untrue. There might be some things that are true, but you know what? It's not my business what people say about me behind my back. That's what my friend Angela over at This Gathered Nest says and I love that because it's true. I mean, it's not my business what you say about me behind my back. I don't want to know and I don't care. Your opinion does not affect my way of living. Your opinion is not going to bring me down. Your opinion is just an opinion. And that's what I said back to this hater the other day. I actually want to give every single one of these haters a hug because I know that there is something deep down that this is stemming from. Um, people don't just talk about other people for fun. You talk about other people when you're hurt or when you're jealous or when there's something like a missing link in your life. I know that to be sure because I have talked about people behind their back and that's when I was missing something in my life. And so when I've learned to look at the comments and the negativity as that, as knowing in my heart of hearts that there's absolutely without a shadow of doubt something else going on in their life, it has changed the entire way that I think about making videos and sharing my life and being open and being transparent and being vulnerable with you guys. But I refuse to sit here and let other people define me. I know that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made just like all of you are. And we each have a purpose that God has given us. If we listen to the opinions of others and if we listen to the chitter chatter that goes on in our heads and around us of what we can, what we cannot do and people putting limitations on us, like you are never going to succeed with what you want to do in life. If I would have given up and quit YouTube because of all the comments that are being said about me, I wouldn't be fulfilling the purpose that God has for me because I know for a fact that God has me on YouTube at this point of time for some reason. You know, I'm not finished here yet. So me quitting YouTube now would be total selfishness on my end. I just really feel like there's some of you that are watching this video on both sides of the spectrum. There's those of you that have let the comments of other people 
totally control the way that you feel about yourself. And there's others of you who make those comments about other people. We're all just human. It takes so much more energy to frown and to talk badly about other people and to gossip or to hurt others than it does to write an encouraging post or give someone a hug. You know that feeling when you give somebody a hug? You just like, it's just like this calmness that watches over you. It's like, <sighs> I love each and every single one of you and I want to hear from you. So in the comments below, tell me something that you've learned as you've grown up when it comes to dealing with hate or bullying or whatever the case may be. I would love to hear your guys' perspective. If you are new to this channel, I upload videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I do a lot of sit down videos like this. Um, but we also do some fun videos on this channel. In two days, this Wednesday, we'll be doing another Ask Eden More interview my three-year-old and ask her questions. So we kind of have a variety of different things on this channel. I hope that you guys stick around and I hope that you subscribe and I hope that we get to know each other better. Remember that you have a purpose. Do not let the opinions and views of others affect who you are. I believe in you guys and I know you're meant for great things. We'll see you guys next time.